what's going on guys? Io here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at episode 2 of How to Cannon from Scratch. So yesterday we looked at hybriding, launching a hybrid shot, and making a semi-automatic hybrid cannon. Now, today we're going to be looking at power. And not the kind of stuff that comes out of your outlet, the wall outlet. The kind of stuff that you use in the cannon to launch the actual sand and TNT. So, these dispensers here that you're seeing are the main power. Now, when I fire this thing at short range like that, it works just fine. However, when we fire it at larger ranges like this, which is not even that far, the sand doesn't make it, and the TNT gets there, but the sand doesn't, and it doesn't work. It won't work. So, that is why we have main power. More main power. But uh, there's a small dilemma we run into with this cannon. So this TNT obviously has full potential. This one is two blocks away from the actual shot we're firing, so it, has, it, it doesn't affect the shot as much. This has less, so does this, and then eventually these two barely even matter when we're firing it. So we need to find some way to compress it all into here. That is where boosters come in. Now, boosters are kind of a secondary cannon inside of the cannon. So we have all the TNT here, right? The way that a booster works is this TNT explodes, kind of shooting this all into there. So I'm going to demonstrate this now. Um, also, you're wondering why you're not seeing any explosions. That's because I have my particles disabled. Or, no, sorry, I do have particles enabled. When we fire like this, sorry about that. Never mind, I thought I had my particles disabled. So that fires there, as you can see, compresses it all into one block, and it all explodes. So, this is the way that we make our cannons have more power. Now, um, you know, this is nice and all, but we want to, oh, so what, one, two, three, four, five, six, and six on each side. That's 12 TNT, which might seem like a lot, but it's really not that much. So, if we want to have a lot of power, we're going to need to find some way to get a lot of power compressed into one block. And that is why I'm teaching you how to do main power. This is going to be essential later on when you're cannoning, so you definitely pay attention. So a couple things I want you to note, and I need you to note down, when you're making main power. Redstone signal travels up slabs, but does not travel down slabs. You can see here, travels up slabs, but does not travel down them. That is something you need to note. So... The way that I've figured out this, um, or the way that I've done this, sorry, um, if we want to get the signal to all of these um, dispensers at the same tick, we do kind of a slab tower thing, where we go slab in a diagonal, or I guess kind of diagonal pattern. Checkerboard pattern is what the word is the word that I'm trying to get. So basically, the way that this works is um, because of what I told you about slabs, the, the redstone signal won't actually travel sideways. So if the redstone signal won't travel from here, down, up, down, 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 and it won't power all the dispensers. So that's why at the bottom, the very bottom ones, we do these. So the redstone signal travels along these, and then up here and here, and up here and here, and that way it powers the entire thing all the way. So, this is an improvised version of that one, except that we have more power on this one. So you can see it all gets dispensed, and launched forward into one block, and then with the extra power, it has enough range to reach over here. So, there's a couple things though you need to remember. You need to remember the mechanics I'm telling you about here. Otherwise, you end up with people trying to do stuff like this. And as you can guess, this isn't really going to work. So I'm just going to fire off here. You can see it doesn't even power any of it. It doesn't even, like, it doesn't. Because this doesn't work into there. Nothing works if you don't power it correctly. And even if we put a block there, um, it still is only going to power that. These are all ignored. So you need to make sure that you do it. You do your, all your stuff, your power like this and you will get a lot of potential. 
So, you can make these as tall as you want to. Um, I'd recommend only doing it 15 tall, because that is the range of a redstone signal, I guess. So, that's that. Now, I'm just going to show you how to make these boosters real quickly. So, there's a few different types of boosters. You have a single booster here, which can launch, we can reach, which can reach six blocks, sorry. Then there's a double booster, which can reach a total of 11 blocks, or I guess that it can boost 11 blocks. So, it will compress all this TNT right here into that one block. Now, the way this works, the basic concept behind this is that we have TNT here and TNT here. This TNT will reach this much TNT, so... Basically, the TNT back here launches about this much TNT forwards into here. Then, upon doing that, it launches this one forwards to about here. And then, it go and because this explodes a tick after, then this is going to explode, compressing everything into that one block. That's the idea behind boosters. And then finally, we have a triple booster which is capable of reaching up to 15 blocks, um, capable of pushing up to 15 blocks length of TNT. This is the longest booster, but you are not going to be needing this for a while because I can't imagine you're going to need that much TNT anytime soon. But at some point, we are going to need that much TNT for some uh, cannon experiments. So as you can see, it's the same setup as the other one, except we have three TNT here, 4 TNT here, and 6 TNT here. Um, that's pretty much that. If this isn't boosting far enough, um, I'll explain how to make it boost further in another video. But uh, anyway, this was Boosters and Main Power, so I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy, of course, drop a like and subscribe. Next episode, we are going to be looking at guiders and maybe hammers, but probably hammers are going to be in episode four, but we'll see about that. So yeah, thank you for watching everyone. I'm Io, and I'm out. Bye!